Good day, fishing fans in the Northeast United States. My name is Matthew Upton from Ross, and it's been a few weeks, so we haven't done a North video in a couple of weeks, mainly because it's been so cloudy out east. But finally, the end of this week, October, Thursday, Friday, today's Friday, October 4th, and Toward the end of this week, it finally cleared off enough for us to see the conditions. And oh my goodness, look at out east. Look at this warm water pushed all the way in from the eddies. And so we're looking at sea surface temperature conditions from today and yesterday, where we have the yellow, orange, and red is your warmer water. Green and blue is your cooler water. And what we look at, what we found out, is plenty of nice water look at the main attraction here is this large clockwise warm core eddy and it is pulling up water from the gulf stream right into atlantis beach fishtails all the way up this water is 75 to 78 degrees all the way up to 40 fathoms inshore People coming out of Montauk, Block Island, Martha's Vineyard. Boom, right there. Tuna, Wahoo, Dolphin, Marlin still probably. And keep your eye on the stuff further east. There's another. Look at the Gulf Stream. is still 84, 85 degrees. And there's another eddy, looks like, that might be breaking off here in the near future out further east, south of George's Bank. So this is just south of, oh, just off the thousand fathoms of oceanographer is a really nice break, like 60 to 75 degrees probably. And I know it's starting to get cooler now. All this water is, is, blo is blowing down this way. And there's another counterclockwise eddy in the Block Canyon Fishtails area, but all this water we have to keep an eye on. The 75, 76, 77 degree water is going to continue to migrate to the west and southwest. Right already, we have 73, 74 degree water pushing into Hudson Canyon. So it looks good for Hudson Canyon. Probably some white marlin still. I would imagine tons of mahi, um, tuna. Albacore tuna showing up in bigger numbers now. Down in the more southern canyons, this water here is 83 and a half at best, 83 degrees. So most of this water is 70, 69, 70, 71 degrees, but still some pockets of decent water. This is 72 degrees, 71 degrees inshore, elephant's trunk, hot dog lump. Um, sausages. There's an eddy. Little, look, looks like right over Washington Canyon here. It's a counterclockwise eddy offshore here. Another clockwise eddy in this area. And still some decent water, you know, south of Washington, Norfolk Canyon, 73, 74 at, the be at best. And then off down over the point. I know there's an eddy coming up right here. Pushing up this way. So believe it or not, especially out east, lots of good conditions to fish still. And I would say even this water is going to last uh, well into October and maybe even November. So when the weather permits, and I know it's been windy on and off, been a windy summer, early fall, but if, if, if conditions are right for the weather, it's worth coming out. I know there's already been, there's are, there's still a few white marlin being picked off, Washington, Norfolk, Baltimore Canyon, Wilmington, Mahi, plenty of Mahis I've, I've heard, Linden Cole and down over the canyons where you get in that little bit warmer water, 71, 72, 73 degrees. A few tunas as well has been caught. Um, so, Take advantage of, of uh, these conditions, especially out, out east. And keep an eye on contact Ross because this water is going to start to migrate. I, I expect by next week, Tom's Canyon, maybe later this weekend, Tom's Canyon is going to be improving. 
and then on down the line. So let's look at the corresponding ocean color chlorophyll data. And what you notice is, yes, lots of, lots of green water inshore. And you can see uh, lots of greener turbid water down off of North Carolina. This is, this is the effect of Helene um, river water and flooding coming out of the inlets and rivers. And our prayers and, and thoughts are with are with uh, our friends in North Carolina and further south from Her Helene. And but look, what, what we really notice is a lot of blended blue, cleaner water. Inshore all the way, you know, 30, 40 fathoms even down Washington, Norfolk. So plenty of cleaner water still. And, and obviously some bluer water off Atlantis Canyon looks really nice. Beach. West Atlantis, East Atlantis looks really nice in here. A little bit of clouds, obviously, but um, look at all, look at this rotation here. Of course, you have the nice blue Gulf Stream out down here. A couple of nice filaments off of Oregon Inlet. And especially this line here has got to have even maybe sailfish in it still. Um, tuna Wahoo Mahi. And, and I know there's some white marlin and probably a couple of blue marlins still floating around there for the next few weeks. But this is the water to keep an eye on as it as it slowly makes its way west and southwest. We a little bit too early now, but let's talk about tuna and to catching tuna and mahi maybe for Thanksgiving. This big bulge in the Gulf Stream is going to create a nice clockwise eddy way out east. So stay tuned to Ross. I know it's October. Some of you guys are getting into hunting season already. But um, when the weather permits, there's still some really decent water to fish offshore, not too far, uh, far offshore. When you're up in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and New York. So keep an eye on this stuff. This is really good tuna water here, I would think. All right. Tuning out. This might be our last North video of the year. Happy fall, and we will be in touch. Thank you.